So I know, listen, I mean, we've talked about guns quite a bit, and you and I were just talking off air about how it's a surprisingly winning issue with younger people. And often a lot of people on the right aren't aware of just how much of a winning issue uh, it is. Uh, we've, we've had to run-ins with Vox, and I know that you have. So let's start with this. Right now, obviously, this gun debate is being, I mean, so much of it is, is, is just, it's, it's a quagmire. Let's start separating it piece by piece with you, sir, the expert. Vox wrote a recent article. America's unique gun violence problem, and you basically uh, deconstructed it point by point. How about you take us through that and what that experience was like? Well, they've had, uh, I guess, a post with like 17 charts where they go and they claim that the United States has is unique in terms of gun violence, that we're unique in terms of uh, the rate that people own guns in the country. And obviously, they draw a connection between the two, indicating that if we could only get rid of the guns, uh, we'd end up uh, reducing the level of violence in the United States. There's so many kind of different levels of problems with it. I mean, people don't even understand that there is a difference between murder and homicide. Right. Uh, they don't. They use data in ways that just is not kosher, uh, that, you know, academics wouldn't go and use, and I'm happy to talk about it. But, uh, you know, so for example, murder and homicide, most people don't know that the difference between the two is justifiable homicides. Homicides are murders plus cases where either police or civilians use guns uh, to protect themselves. And so, you know, in a typical year recently, you would have had maybe about 8,000 firearm murders, uh, but you'd have maybe 12,000 uh, firearm homicides. Um, and they don't know how large of a share that the vast majority of those firearm murders are gang related. Right. Uh, well, but, do you think they don't with, know at this point? I mean, you're an academic, and some of them at Vox can be argued are academics. Do you think they don't know? Like Obama on the on the wage myth. Yes, it's like, like President Obama on the wage yeah, gap. You're going. Yeah. Uh, you he have Google have too. Google, <laughs> or is he trying to push a message? Do you really think they don't know at this point, or they're so entrenched in the agenda that they have to continue with it? Because I know your research shows the opposite might be true, which I'd like to get into. Right. Well, I mean, it's hard to get in people's heads to right. know what's actually motivating them on things. Uh, you know, there are lots of prominent cases where numbers are put out where I just know they're fraudulent. Uh, you know, so I suppose one of the more prominent examples, there's this guy named Adam Langford who has put together data, he says, on mass public shootings around the world, claiming that the United States makes up about a third of uh, the mass shootings around the world, but only 4% of the world's population. I've been asking for the guy's data uh, since it got attention in 2015. I mean, when it came out, uh, he had the front page top above the fold of every major newspaper in the country and most of the minor ones. Yeah. Uh, it got coverage in at least 30 different countries. Um, got the mad fold in in the back. You're like, oh, right. a four percent. Ah. No, you're absolutely. You know, it's funny that you you bring that up because we've done this quite a bit, and they don't send their sources. But I've not heard that one before. I know it's false right away because of the research we've done. When you look at mass shootings in places like the Honduras and South American countries, unless right. is he? A well, see here. Here's the problem. So they you look at mass public shootings of four more people. Right. In the United States, you're going to get all the cases, but. You know, so he's looking at data from the 1960s through 2012. Does anybody really believe that you're going to be able to find all the mass public shootings in uh, in Africa or South America or Central America in the late 60s? Right. In the 70s? I mean, it's not Great like keepers. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like their newspapers were even online at the time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, half the archives were know, blown away by Coney in Africa. There's no way to get it. I, I, I can't imagine. And, and no one called him on his claim. Well, the thing is, the media doesn't care about it. I just been going back and forth with uh, some people at The New York Times because uh, they just uh, a few months ago ran a huge full page showing graphs that he had from his data. The thing is, the graphs are unusable to try to figure it out because they don't label the dots. And, and the vast majority of dots are kind of all scrambled together, so you can't figure out what the, what the number he's claiming for individual countries. So I'd like to get information on 
the actual cases that right. he has. Or if that doesn't work, which they won't give you, at least tell me the number of cases he's claiming by country. But they won't do that. Yeah. And uh, and the reporters, they don't care. They won't. They don't ask. Uh, so the thing with the New York Times, uh, Langford had told the New York Times or told us that he had given the New York Times exclusivity. Now you're dealing with the media. Exclusivity even if you with give data them, on gun violence? <laughs> it's not a scoop. <laughs> right. No, but even if even if somehow you had given them exclusivity, it would just be to let them run it first. Right. You're not going to go and say, well, I'm going to give the newspaper exclusivity for five months or for, you know, perpetuity after that. Right. And then. When we contact the New York Times, they said, well, you have to get it from Langford, uh, that they weren't going to give it out to us. I don't know why, but they, you know, it's just silly. That's that great. They, I have to protect my sources. What do you it, mean who? The CDC. Like, it's the CDC, except it's not. 